Look at this. We are right along La Selassie Avenue. And if you remember how this place looked just a few months ago, you'll be shocked by the progress today. The viaduct that links Kenyatta Avenue to Long Road, that massive 2.9 billion shillings project is continually taking shape day by day. You can now see the steel frames, the drilling work, and fresh barricades being set up to make the way for the next phase of the construction process. In this video, you'll get to see what's new, what's changing fast, and what's still left to be done. Trust me, you'll want to see this because Nairobi's transformation is happening right here. The Kyoto Avenue Gongrod Viaduct is a flagship infrastructure project by the Kenya Urban Growth Authority to decongest Nairobi city centre and improve urban mobility. It targets notorious traffic snow ups that disrupt economic activities, especially during peak hours. The design blends elevated roads with improved pedestrian infrastructure including walkways and cycling tracks. This project is part of a larger urban development plan integrating key routes such as Upper Hill, Valley Road, Gong Road, Kenyatta Avenue, and La Selassie Avenue. It is envisioned to foster smoother, safer, and more predictable traffic flow. Basic transport infrastructure standards. So this are at currently. So the site we are at currently is in Gong Road and near the Milimani Law Courts. So this viaduct stretches from the Milimani Law Courts area or is supposed to stretch from the Milimani Law Courts area along Gong Road to near the National Library of Kenya. So this section focuses on easing traffic between the CBD and Upper Hill two of Nairobi's busiest corridors. Completion for this section, including the flyover, is projected for late 2026 or early 2027 if construction plans remain as planned and no delays are faced further as it was earlier during the start of this project. The current situation at the site shows that major structural components for the viaduct are already in place. The superstructure for the elevated road is well advanced and you can see completed support piers and columns as well as steel frames and formwork already mounted to support the future roadway deck. The base and approach road beneath the viaduct still have rough and paved surfaces with construction debris and loose stones indicating ongoing earthworks and site preparations. The next key step for the project at this section will likely involve completing the decking, pouring the concrete for the elevated road, instilling safety barriers and guardrails, and eventually laying down the final road surfacing. Auxiliary works such as drainage, lighting, pedestrian walkways and landscaping will also need to be completed. So overall, the project is well past the foundational stage with much of the heavy structural work done, but it is not yet in the finishing phases. More work on the road surface, safety features and final detailing still needs to be done on this site. Some service dirt and minor weathering can be seen on the metals 
It is normal in organic tip sites, but nothing appears to compromise the integrity or a long-term durability of the metals. Eventually, this already constructed part is supposed to be connected to the pillars that appear along Elasilase Avenue towards Bong Road. So right now we are on the Gong Road headed towards Kenyatta Avenue. So this part of the road was also under construction and it is not yet fully complete. There is still a lot of work to be done on this road. So on the right we have the newly built steady concrete barrier wall which is not just a simple divider but it acts as a retaining structure separating this new road from the existing landscape. And the concrete barrier is important for structural integrity, especially on this curved segment of the road. Along the road, you can also see there is newly installed drainage system. These two parallel curb stones create a dedicated gutter, which is crucial for channeling rainwater, preventing flooding in protecting the foundation of the road from erosion. Considering where this road is located, it will likely serve as a slip road or an exit point from Kenyatta Avenue to manage traffic flow between the Kenyatta Avenue viaduct and the ground level avenues. A good look at the road surface itself. It appears to be the compacted sub base layer and it's likely that the final smooth tarmac surface hasn't been laid down yet. So what do you think of the design and progress in this area? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on Nairobi's urban transformation. So now we are headed towards uh, Kineta Avenue where there is active construction. drilling and construction of the viaduct going on. There are machines on site. Right now, the team is heavily focused on, on earthworks. This compacted dirt truck is a temporary access route for heavy machinery. In the distance, you can spot a yellow excavator. Its job is critical. It is clearing out any remaining debris leveling the, the ground, and most importantly, preparing the massive boreholes and foundations for the viaduct column. For a structure this high, the foundations have to be incredibly deep and steady. They are literally carving out the service for the future broad bearing pillars that will support the elevated deck. Once this ground is stable and the temporary foundations are set, we will see the big changes. We will see the delivery of steel reinforcement gauges, 
the pouring of concrete for the footings and then the familiar sight of the giant concrete piers or pillars rising up. The viaduct will soon soar right over this area. So tell us in the comments what part of the Kinata Avenue in the Gong Road Viaduct are you most excited about? Drop a comment below and as always, hit the subscribe button for more behind the scenes looks at global infrastructures. See you in the next one. Oh, it's not a game, it's a red